The warm water, sandy beaches, and steady winds of Brazil have been a draw to kiteboarders for years. But with hundreds of miles of beachfront and so many spots to choose from, it's hard to know where to begin. So we are going to help you out by introducing you to one of Brazil's kiteboarding hotspots and a great place to begin your adventure, Cambuco. My name is Crystal Vanessa. Welcome to Destinations. This sleepy fishing village has evolved into a fun Brazilian beach town that wakes up when the wind blows. So whether you're kiteboarding in the gentle ocean conditions right in front of your beachfront hotel, or you're taking a beach buggy down to one of those famous flatwater lagoons, you will be able to get a session in almost every day of the high season here in Brazil. And off the water, this kiteboarding community is a great place to meet other kiters, enjoy some laid back nightlife, and dip your toes into the Brazilian beach culture. In this episode of Destinations, we are going to tell you everything you need to know about kiteboarding in Kambuco, including when to go, what to bring, where to kite, and what to watch out for. Let's start with windy season. The wind blows pretty much all year round in Kambuco, but the best time to book your kiteboarding holiday where you have reliable everyday wind is between June and February. Within that period, the time that you can get the most reliable, strong winds are between August and December. Typically, wind will start blowing in the morning and will blow all day long, and the wind speed is usually anywhere from 15 to 25 knots. As always, you should bring a variety of kite sizes and boards if you have them, but most riders will get by with between 6 and 12 meter kites, depending on rider size and board type, of course. If you're looking for a low-key kite holiday, you can't go wrong with staying beachfront at Praia de Cambuco. We sit at Windtown, which is a kite resort that has a pool, a bar, a place to pump and rig your gear right on the ocean front, um, a nice storage locker space so you don't have to carry all your stuff up to your room, and an awesome team of people to help you out if you need it. The best thing about this spot though was the wide beach front where you can access four kilometers of kiteboarding beaches and being on the downwind side of Kambuco, it meant there was a lot more room to play out on the water. So I guess we're talking about launch spots now. If you're staying anywhere beachfront in Kambuco, you're basically on the launch spot already. So oceanfront kiting here means small to large chop depending on the wind and splatter water sections between the waves near the beach. There's a lot of beachfront here in Kambuco to explore, so if one area is getting too crowded, like close to the village where you've got more obstacles on the beach, more hotels and lesson centers, you may want to try riding downwind to near Windtown where you can get a bit more space to play. If it's flat water and lagoon sessions that you want, you may want to head down to the Caipe Lagoon, which is one of the most popular lagoons in the area. It's about a seven kilometer downwinder if you want to go by water, or you can take a beach buggy or taxi down to the lagoon. Now this spot has shallow flat water, which makes it perfect for beginner kiteboarders or for those working on their trick progression. Unfortunately, because it's a lagoon, the water level can change and the size of the lagoon can change significantly based on the water level. So, if the lagoon is small, it can be very crowded very quickly and maybe even a bit too shallow in spots. So, if it's too small or too busy, you may want to pull up a hammock, grab a drink and watch the pros throw it down on the lagoon. That was just the tip of the iceberg with two of the more popular spots in the area, but there is plenty more to see here. And we've actually done two other destination spot guides on Brazil, including the downwinder experience with Surf and Sam Thim and the kiteboarding mecca of Jericoacoara. So you can find the links to those two videos by checking out the description of this video. Cambugo is a spot that is for any and every kiteboarder. Whatever your level, whatever your style of riding, this place will welcome you. So if you're a beginner or you're coming with beginner friends and family that want to learn to kite, you can start with lessons at Windtown with their experienced team of instructors. But if you're just working on trick progression and getting more comfortable on the water, you can ride anywhere you want and you will have a great time. Whether you're trying to do freestyle, boiling, big air, or wave riding, you can do it all here. And the weather here is the cherry on top. So this is bikini and board short heaven, which means you can bring your beach clothes and leave everything else at home, which of course leaves extra room for more kite gear. Because this spot is such a popular kiteboarding destination, you will have everything you need as a traveling kiteboarder right here on the spot. Of course, the lagoons have a little bit less facilities, being a bit further out of town, but once you're in the village, you've got everything you need. 
you've got a full duotone lesson and rental center at Wintown, and you've got all the kite repair and kite shops that you need locally. And if you're staying at one of the beachfront hotels, you probably don't even need a rental car. You can show up here, pop your gear in a locker, order a Kaipedania, kick back and enjoy. This might be one of the easiest kite holidays out there. When it comes to cautions, the only thing to really watch out for here in Kambuko is the crowds. So again, if you're kiting at the lagoon, if the lagoon is small, it can get very crowded and quite dangerous unless you're an experienced rider that is good at navigating through a crowd. If you are riding beachfront in Kambuko, you've got a lot more options, so you'll almost always be able to find your own piece of room to play, but when there's a lot of kiters on the water, you'll want to stay very aware all the time. When the sun sets and the wind stops, you will be surrounded by an international kite community that is full of energy. This is a place for those who love to kite and those who love to be around other people who love to kite. And it's a great place to bring your friends and family that want to get into this sport. In my three weeks in Brazil, my stay at Windtown and kiteboarding in that clear warm water was one of the highlights of my trip. You really can't go wrong with Brazil's beaches. If you're looking for more in-depth information on Kambuka, including more kite tips and travel tips for the spot, you can click on the little eye in the corner of this video to see the detailed spot guide. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more kiteboarding content and even more travel destinations. You can also leave us a message in the comments below, hit us up on the website, or reach out to me personally on Instagram if you have any more gear questions, travel questions, or Kambuka questions. Thank you and we will see you next time on Destinations.